Welcome back to Holyrood Park. The two great races thus far, and uh, the bad weather, or the snowy weather, hasn't deterred the excellence of the performances we've seen thus far. Two uh, great performances, Ricky Stevenson and Tiranish Dibaba. Now it's the big one. This is Sergei Lebed. Nine-kilometer race ahead of him, eight times European cross-country champion. He really is a talent on the country. Will he prevail here? He's got tough opposition. Um, Kipchoge here, Eliud Kipchoge, uh, won this race in 2005. Two Olympic medals to his credit, two World Championship medals, two at 5,000 meters, so he'll be there. But what about this fella? Um, very seldom beaten on the country. He's one of the greats. One has to say that. Look at that. 11 times World Cross Country Champion. I saw him lose in Mombasa, where he pulled out in the heat of Mombasa. Uh, but since then has uh, prevailed and done so well uh, on the track, of course, this last season. More about that in a moment. A bit of celebrating going on. You can hear the singing in the background as the athletes try and concentrate at the start here. Um, there are a couple of other Kenyans with the orange top on there. Joseph Abuya of Kenya, a lot of, more about him soon. He's in good form at the moment. And Mbishi um, is a 19-year-old. I haven't seen him before. Um, he's uh, in the leading group there already. He was in that front line of the elite athletes going into this race. And it'll be very interesting to see uh, who, in fact, takes it on. Uh, number 33 there, incidentally, or 23 it is, Patu. Uh, he was 92nd in the World Half Marathon Championships uh, in Birmingham this uh, this year. You can see um, number 46 there is uh, Segai Twelde of the Shettleston Harriers. Um, there's Mike Skinner on the right. There's uh, there's the youngster and Beishi with the hat with the orange vest, and uh, the rest strung out already. Look at this. It's uh, they're strung out over about 50 or 60 metres already. So it's quite clear to me that the pace is significant. And who's that in the middle? Well, it is the man himself, Kenanisa Bekele of Ethiopia. Dominated the uh, long-distance races on the Golden League circuit last season and ended up wanting to share the $1 million prize at the end of that season. Don't know how he's uh, wintered. Uh, apparently he feels good. He said he's uh, relishing the... Uh, opportunity. He didn't perform well in the heat, which is uh, surprising really. The Ethiopians don't tend to run well in the uh, heat, uh, but certainly he faltered in Mombasa in those World Athletics Champion uh, World Cross Country Championships, I should say, um, in 2007. Uh, Kipchoge, we've mentioned him already. Now, Elliot Kipchoge um, is now moved up into that leading group, and you can see now the rest of the field, and you can identify them with their names on their vests. Uh, strung way, way back already. Kipchoge is there. So is uh, Mbishai. The two former Eritreans, Tuelde and Voldemichael, are in that leading group. They always are, actually. Um, they always push it on early on, but uh, towards the end in previous races, they've faltered a little bit in the final stages. They certainly have. Um, looking for Sergei Lebed uh, to see whether he's going to feature here. Um, remember, he'll be wearing number seven. He'll have his name on his front. And also, I think at the back of that group is uh, Juan Barrios of Mexico. Yes, it is. He's got a hat on too. Just on the, it's just obscured there behind Lebed. There is Lebed towards the back. He's got the yellow vest with a black uh, hat. But uh, Kipchoge then is taking it on now. Elliot Kipchoge. Let me say again: two Olympic medals, two World Championship medals at 5,000, and all before his 24th birthday. Ebuya's up there. Now, all of a sudden, we've got four breaking away. Uh, Kenanese Bekele is there um, on that uh, in fourth place at the moment. He'll be happy to let the rest do the work, incidentally. But uh, it's an advantage to these Kenyans because they can run together as a team. Very tight turn. That's Barrios, incidentally, doing well. The Mexican, seventh, and uh, he was the top Afri non African, incidentally, in the Olympic 5000 meter final in Beijing. So he's doing quite nicely at the moment, but it's a Kenyan dominance at the moment at the head of this uh, field. It certainly is. And uh, these four um, just getting away, I fancy, from the rest. Well, certainly Barrios um, in no man's land there, isn't he? He's on his own, he's ahead of the a trailing group, but these four away. See Barrios moving across. He wants some better footing on the inside of the course, taking a different route uh, slightly from the leading four. And these four now look to me to be away from the rest. Barrios is going to have a real problem to get back to them, which is obviously what he's trying to do. 
the top non-African in that Olympic 5,000 meter final in Beijing, and that's quite something, really. It's worth repeating that because um, that's very, very difficult. Uh, Africa have dominated the longer distance races in the recent years in the major championships. And you can see here that that gap is perhaps increasing just a little bit uh, with Bekele um, on the back of that uh, leading group of three uh, Kenyans. What about Abuya then? Fourth in the Commonwealth Games 5000 as a junior. That was in 2006 in Melbourne. And uh, World Cross Country Championship, uh, he got a, a fourth place in that as well. So he's a real talent. That was in Edinburgh, just to, on these, in this venue. So he's a real talent. Um, so Abuya, and incidentally, Abuya has uh, really been... Un he had one fall in a race. He would have probably won that race, incidentally. He was unbeaten this year, Abuya. At the moment, uh, he's trailing in uh, third... Well, not trailing, he's in third place um, behind uh, the youngster, um, Bishai, Titus and Bishai. He's taken it on, isn't he? This youngster full of confidence. How often have we seen this from Africa, where you've got uh, a youngster coming through totally uninhibited, and this story repeats itself, doesn't it, time and time again. But Kaylee in fourth place, if anything, the youngster is really putting the pedal down and putting the pressure down. Uh, Kipchoge in second, and Buya on the near side, to, towards the nearest the camera, alongside of Kipchoge. He now moves into second place, Buya. So it's Kenya one, two, and three with Bekele. Well, he's the reigning Olympic and world champion and world record holder at both five and 10,000 metres. And remember, at the very beginning, 22 world championship gold medals, 11 of them on the country. We saw that caption at the beginning. And he's off the back of this uh, group of three. And I wonder, he's really got to make it back now if he's going to feature. And Bekele, who very, very seldom finds himself in this position, particularly behind three Kenyans, and the Kenyans, if they know about this, will thoroughly enjoy it. But it's still early, and look at that. That's Barrios, who's still maintained that uh, position in fifth place. The rest miles behind. And Buya, and uh, this is a big push forward by Mbuya and uh, Mbishi. It really is. And Bekele looks to me to be spent here. He's moving quite well, but he's not making any impact at all uh, on uh, uh, Buya and Mbeshi, these two, and even Kipchoge in third place. Kipchoge, he's got Kipchoge as a target, but these two have gone. Abs all of a sudden, Kipchoge was dropped. Now, we know about Mbuya. He's had, as I said, a very, very good season indeed. His last race on December the 31st, he won a 10K race in Lisbon, um, but, and he had one fall, as I said earlier. But he's proved himself to be pretty tough. He's the big, solid citizen on the shoulder of the 18-year-old Titus Mbishi. The, and look at Bekele trying desperately to catch Kipchoge, Eliud Kipchoge. But that picture really is deceptive because he's a way, way behind him. And I don't think he's even going to catch Kipchoge. He really isn't. I don't think so. Not today. And Barrios comes onto the picture too. He's run very, very well indeed. Once again, he proves to be the top non-African. Bekele has done it all before, but this is proving to be very, very difficult indeed. 400 metres to go now on this final lap, and it's uh, Mbuya is getting away from Mbishi. There's a big race, a little glance over, tight turn coming up, up the top of that hill. Now there's the downhill, and they'll motor down this hill, and Mbuya showing real strength now. Looking at the two statues, he looks the stronger, he looks the more powerful with Mbishi, the youngster who flows beautifully along the track and along this course, but this looks to me as though Mbuya's away. Mbuya's got away, and he's coming down. I don't think Mbishi can catch him. There's a look of determination with 200 metres to go, and it's going to be Kenya 1 and 2, and let's see whether Bekele can catch Kenya 3 uh, in the form of Eliud Kipchoge. But this has been a brilliant, brilliant run. Another fine performance by Joseph Mbuya, the Kenyan. Um, the form that he's shown prior to this race is maintained, and he's going to come away with another win. Unbeaten thus far, really, and uh, he is a real force to be reckoned with, and when we see him during the summer, we shall see him again in the, right at the beginning, right at the top of these big races, I'm sure. He wins it, Mbishi in second place. It was a great performance by the man from Kenya, by the two men from Kenya. Now then, let's look to see who comes third. And here comes Elliot Kipchoge, and where is Bekele? Well... Kenanisa Bekele, the man 
who everyone put down as the favourite, comes into fourth place. He struggled really well. He did struggle, didn't he? Well, a smile which I'm sure will disguise as disappointment. There's the evidence. Buya, Mbishi, Kipchoge, Kenanisa Bekele. When did we last see him come fourth? Then Barrios, then Sergei Lebed of the Ukraine, the eight times European champion. Good race. Because I arrived uh, before uh, three days, before the race, three days I stayed here, uh, you know, without training. So because of the snow, you know, raining, so I, I, I lose, I missed maybe two or three uh, trainings before the race. So. So a disappointed Kenanisa Bekele as three Kenyans made it onto the winner's podium for what was a terrific start to the 2010 Great Run Series, a series which promises to be the biggest and best yet. It kicked off to a terrific start here in Edinburgh as hundreds of runners braved the elements in the Bupa Great Winter Run. Throughout the year, they'll be joined by thousands more, not just across Britain, but around the world. A year where the biggest names and greatest athletes will be taking to the roads and where track and field will hit the streets. Next up, it's Dublin and the Great Ireland Run in April. Then we'll be moving on to Edinburgh and Manchester for an action-packed May. If you want to get involved or just want more information, then why not visit our website? So, from the snow of Edinburgh, it's goodbye. <laughs>